Okay, here's your quick tip. The rigger. We've got lots and lots of people that, well, how, what are you doing with a rigger? How do you use the rigger? And it seems like a simple little thing, but you know, it, there's a little trick to it. So let me show you. Now this can apply to all media, all brush media, whether it's uh, watercolor, oil, acrylic. It doesn't, make, it doesn't matter because the rigger is going to work pretty much the same way regardless of the medium you're using, which makes, this, uh, makes it um, a good quick tip. So first thing is that the rigger to work properly, because it's such a thin, skinny little brush, it needs to be pretty wet. So for oil, I, have, I use a mixture of half and half linseed oil and uh, odorless min mineral spirits, which is um, a, of a really, really high grade, like Gamsol or um, um, those others whose names I can't remember all of. But anyway, so half and half that and refined linseed oil, that's the first thing. Get it very wet. Watercolor people, you just use water. It doesn't matter. So get it very wet. Roll it in the, in the um, medium that you use so that the wetness sucks in and then you move into the color and you sort of pull the color but you also roll it to be sure it's really really good and wet and um, get it really good and loaded with the color then once it's good and loaded you want to be sure that it is not uh, there are no pieces of color left on the end of it that it comes to a nice point and then what do you do with it well it depends on what you're trying to use it for if it's twigs a lot of people will um, just do like marks like that. Well, any brush can do that. <laughs> the, the the rigger has a unique characteristic of being able to form twigs and grasses and things like that. And so, my suggestion is that you learn to use it with an upward stroke, not a downward stroke. That's one of the keys, I think, to using the rigger for uh, is to use it as an upward stroke and to use it with lots of arm movement. So if I use it with an upward stroke like this, I can just simply push the rigger down, pull up like this, see, and I get a really, really, with a lot, with an arm stroke, I get a really, really lively line like that. Push it down against the uh, surface and pull it up away from the surface as you're moving away from it, and you get a real nice lively line like that. Then the other way I'd like to show you, and then after that you can experiment because these are the two main ways the rigger can work for you really, really good, is to give it a jerk as you're moving. Now, a lot of people have trouble interpreting this, but let me show you it's kind of slow motion. You place the rigger down, and then as you pull it, you kind of jerk, 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 jerk. Jerk. And as you're jerking, your your motion of your arm, you let it come closer and closer and closer to the tip of the rigger, and that way you get sort of the pattern of natural growth, whether it's a limb or a twig or something like that. So it, rather than when you're using the rig rigger, rather than using it for just you know just using just a just a straight motion, give it a little bit of action, give the uh, the movement to it, just a little bit of action, like this and see like that and then you get that nice 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 natural movement and there's your quick tip